Now, until just five years ago, the idea of being able to order a meal any time of the day or night to be delivered at your doorstep through a mere click of your mobile phone would have seemed uh, so incredulous to many of us. But today, India's food delivery market is worth $1.6 billion. It's growing at a 30% a year clip. And yet, uh, less than 2% of orders are placed online. So the market is ripe for growth. It's creating a whole new ecosystem of robust mobile apps where marketing strategies have become paramount to counter the growing competition in this space. Let's get you the lowdown. The digital space is stirring up a storm with wave after wave of businesses moving on to digital and mobile platforms. After the dot-com, e-commerce and online retail waves, the next big bet seems to be food. Just look around you. The number of food startups is mind-boggling and they're drawing top investment funds in the country. These funds let them expand quickly into newer markets. New startups have no option but to go to the digital platform. Digital is a cheaper way of talking to your consumer directly. So this will be a continuous battle of not new startups and old companies. It's a question of how much strength do you have, how much financial backing do you have to take on and in that limited money that you have, what is the best that you can do? But biting at their heels are global food chains, McDonald's and KFC. They're not losing their market share so easily. If you have a good product, whether it's in food or anywhere, if you have a great product, you have great pricing and you don't have the money, going through the net or going through digital is the best option. You don't have any other option. Whereas the big guys are now saying, I'm going to clobber you because I can also come onto the net and my brand is known and I'm going to compete with you on that. And that's where the, where the real competitiveness and the problem will start for the startups is how do they sustain that against the big guys. So of the multi-billion dollar food industry, a huge chunk is indeed the online food ordering business, where even established food listing players like Zomato are taking their first tentative steps, trying to break into the market with lower commissions and exclusive tie-ups. So competition is clearly hotting up. The competition like Zomato, Food Panda and other players like which are coming up so it majorly the right now if you see the online ordering is only around more less than one percent of the total ordering so if you see major competition still is the phone calls it's not the other players obviously they are coming into this category which shows like the category is going to heat up and there is a great need of this product not just for the food aggregators the opportunity is growing for food startups as well Take Fasos, the Pune-based quick service restaurant that recently raised $20 million from Sequoia Capital and Lightbox Ventures. Earlier this year, it took the plunge into digital, which seems to have paid off. Given that Fasos processes 50,000 orders a month through its mobile app, and 70% of its orders come from its website. It's largely to do with the fact that the customers were getting a proposition that was never available before to them. And, you know, the, the entire ordering experience became so smooth, the entire communication as to what is the minimum delivery order or what would be the amount of time it would take, all the human interactions were cut to absolute minimal. So that really helped um, retain the customer more, get the customer to order more times, give every time we had to launch a new menu, we didn't have to put any new flyers or do a television ad to announce that a new product has come in. As Fasos looks at expanding into 15 new cities by the end of this year, the next challenge will be to build its brand. All our marketing is purely digital today. Uh, very, very few spends go into traditional media. Uh, if you look at every, uh, every city that we are entering, every city would have a large uh, foodies group in, in, on a Facebook, uh, a large group on Twitter. There will be a lot of influencers uh, who, you know, who can direct customers to new brands in every particular market. So our focus has been on driving these uh, initiatives across digital. And one of the most successful, successful things for us that works every time is whenever we open a new city, we just send out an email or you know, a Facebook post, a tweet to our existing followers saying that we are now open in this city, why don't you gift a meal to a friend. 
Will all of this then counter the might of global food chains like McDonald's and KFC, who are upping their digital game in India? Even in this muted scenario, it does two things for us. One, it tells us that our brand is current and connects with the consumer. So where there is business, McDonald's is doing well. And uh, secondly, it tells us that yes, online and, and convenience drives everything. So given the fact that you don't have to call a call center, and now the ordering is in your control, uh, lifts the business up substantially. Compared to the size and reach of McDonald's, food chains have a challenge in ensuring that their physical expansion keeps pace with their digital spread. That requires time and money. But it is that fact that gives a distinct edge to aggregators like Food Panda that are growing inorganically through acquisitions of other startups, making them much more agile. Nowhere the, the strategy behind uh, either Just Eat or Tasty Khana uh, was to, to get more orders very quickly. Um, I think what they brought to table was far, far more than that. Um, both these organizations had been in the same business for like seven, eight years and uh, had a lot more maturity, had a lot more knowledge, had a, had a lot more insights into tech, uh, had much more uh, settled processes. We have, uh, we have integrated the teams together now and we are already seeing uh, the wonderful effects. With access to capital for startups and deep pockets for entrenched players, food companies across the board are getting their strategies in place to expand and grow rapidly. But experts believe that it's all going to come down to how they can engage with customers and differentiate their brands. A startup has only 12 to 18 months in which they can establish either a unique taste or a unique positioning to say this is exceptional for health and we maintain taste. Now if they are able to use digital correctly and get people to try their product, they are home. And this will be crucial for online food aggregators to stay relevant in a market that's growing rapidly. How do they create a niche for themselves in a digital world where efficiency is key? Our strategy is mostly digital. Um, we are, an, at the end of the day, an e-commerce company, an online company, and, and uh, you know most of our customers do come through the online uh, channels. So we do ATL, um, you know, radio selectively and uh, and TV for almost all cities, but still the bulk of the uh, of the business and bulk of the expense is still on the digital media. The food industry is working up quite an appetite, really, for growth. And the new kids seem to have shaken things up quite a bit. But once the first spurt of growth is done, it's going to be very interesting to see which of them really ends up in the big league. The trick, of course, lies in forging a brand connector, complemented, of course, by good, consistent service. Time now for a quick break.